Hello again, back with another quick demo and foveated rendering. In the prior video I mentioned using a 4K render buffer, but I was only using 1080p graphics. Here I snagged a um, 4K picture of New York City. So here you can... The uh, foveated pixels look like they're all blended together, so I'll zoom in. Now you can make out each of the individual pixels that I'm working on for foveated rendering because I'm zoomed in double. And here's the effect on a 4K image. One thing I realize is it's very noticeable. These vertical lines on the Empire State Building are really noticeable. You can, And if you follow the mouse pointer around, you can even see them changing as the mouse pointer is moving. So long straight lines will be an issue, but the rest of the image seems to do pretty much pretty well. There is a little bit of detail on this building right here that you can make out as you're following the mouse pointer around. You can tell that it's changing in the distance. But still, most of the rest of the, the 4K image, you can't notice any other detail changes in the periphery while you're following the mouse pointer around. I'll zoom back out again, and if you follow the mouse pointer around, it's even harder to make out the change in details, but that's because I'm downsampling from 4K down to 1080p for this display. If this was an actual 4K recording, you would probably still make out, be able to make out most of the changes. But still, the methodology is good enough. I've brute forced it, and I plan to use it in some other implementations. The next demo I make will be a room with some complex light shafts. Those are light shafts are some of the most expensive things that I've coded in my 3D rendering. So I'll set up a room with eight spotlights and do some uh, spot do some uh, light shafting with them to choke the frame rate, and then I'll try foveated rendering to see how much it improves the frame rate. I hope to have that up within a few days. I doubt it'll be today, but uh, I look forward to presenting that video.